Hello and welcome to my channel. Now in this vlog I'm going to be talking to you, well I'm going to try and put the world to rights regarding the GoPro Hero 8 media module. So some of you might already know where I am looking at the backdrop and uh, I figured there's no better place to come to talk about sound and audio than the Music City. I am of course in Liverpool so let's have a look around. It's a gorgeous morning. So one of the other reasons I've come to Liverpool is to meet up with a fellow YouTuber, Liverpool's finest YouTuber and he knows all about sound and video so I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, talk about this media mod with him and see what he feels about it. See if we can make each other feel a little bit better about it and uh, maybe a little bit of therapy. So I hope you're going to join us on this vlog. It's a little bit of a different vlog for me. I'm not in the hills, uh, but just a little, uh, little vacation, a little holiday to Liverpool. I like this city. Now, I do apologise if you can see the wind muff in the frame here because I've had to mount the, uh, the Rode Video Micro on top of the media module. We are using the media module, but it would have been nice if they would have put uh, a microphone in it. There is actually a little place that looks like, it looks like, uh, you could put a microphone in there, like a little round thing in the corner, in the top corner, the uh, top left hand corner as I look at it. And you could probably put a decent mic in there. I just don't know why they didn't. It seems to just be an empty space. But uh, I've mounted the uh, Rode Video Micro on top and we might just see the wind muff a little bit and I apologize for that. So it's a beautiful morning here in the Music City, of course, Liverpool and uh, everyone's just waking up, the city is just waking up and I'm sure David Harry is just waking up and I'm meeting up with him later on. So I hope you're going to stay with us uh, as we have a bit of a rant about this uh, media module and uh, hopefully uh, at the end of this vlog you will be able to decide whether the media module is for you. Yes, I am obviously in wonderful Liverpool, home of Liverpool and Everton Football Club and of course home to the Beatles. I think we've got a bit of a statue over here of uh, Who's this? Silla Black. We've got a Silla Black here. So yeah, I'm in Liverpool and I've come to meet uh, I've come to meet David Harry. Oh, we've got the Cavern Cavern Clubs there as well, and uh, we've got another another statue coming up. If you've been to Liverpool, you'll know this street is actually Matthew Street. We're going to meet David Harry. In fact, he's here. <laughs> That's where he is. He's here. <laughs> and David is obviously an expert on on uh, audio, all things audio and video. Oh, and, I think that uh, might be pushing gonna... the truth a little, <laughs> Robert, you know. <laughs> we're going to take a walk around uh, the wonderful Liverpool and uh, have a talk to you about this uh, GoPro Hero 8 media module. Mm. So yeah, we've got David Harry here and who have we got next to you? Uh, Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor Rigby, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's going to be doing much talking. No. <laughs> so, David, you are from the Wirral, is it? Actually, I'm actually from Liverpool. It's just that I, li I lived on the Wirral for ages. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I then... did, did do a little bit of research yeah. and got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, all my earlier YouTube stuff all used to be over on there on the waterfront mostly as well. Right, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, my music thing was mostly... Right, so my next line of saying <laughs> that you're... Uh, a true scouser from the Wirral. A true scouser from the Wirral, <laughs> yes. <laughs> In local parlance, I was an adopted woolly back. Right, that, okay. that, That's what the local term would be. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Liverpool or Everton? Liverpool all the way. Okay, okay. I don't have nothing against the blues. Uh, you know, parts of my family were blue and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, no, Liverpool all the way for me. Right. So, let's get to this uh, media module. Oh. When you first saw the released pictures. Oh, I was dead maze up. Yeah. I thought it, it was going to be awesome. I just think they've been dead disingenuous over the whole thing. I think what they've done is is sold people into a lie from the ground up this is as well. Because yeah. whilst the media mod is going to be really cool for certain stuff, and it is, the one primary function, which is what I was dead interested in, was to lose the external mic and, yeah. and go for this internal yeah. uh, shock, shotgun mic. Well, that's what sold it to me. I thought a little shotgun mic on there is going to be perfect. Yeah. I just stick that in my pocket yeah. and, and we're, and away we're good you go. to go. Yeah. And uh, so we found out that it's a shotgun, it's not a shotgun mic? Nah, I had nah. A, I did have a feeling. The, the thing is, I think a lot of people had kind of sussed this out, you know, just kind of looking at it initially. I mean, the thing was, I knew it wasn't a shotgun looking at it, but but what I was hoping for, that it was at least a cardio, you know, a front-facing yeah. microphone. 
Uh, but unfortunately, it's not even that. So GoPro just didn't realize that it wasn't a shotgun. They, they, they just... You, you're putting it nicely, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> they, well, they obviously didn't know, because you're not allowed to say that it's a shotgun when it isn't. I, I would imagine in certain parts of the world, false advertising, you might get away with it. Not in the UK, though. No. I mean, even on their website, they call it a unidirectional microphone, which it isn't. And without going into all like the crazy nonsense technically of why that can't be, it just isn't, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they, 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 they keep repeating this whole thing about the microphone being a certain something when it, electronically and physically it just can't be what it is that they're saying that it is. So whether that's the, the, the description on the back of the box being a shotgun mic, or whether it's the descriptions on the website saying it's unidirectional, which basically means it points in one direction to pick up. All that's inaccurate as well. At the very least, I can say it's inaccurate. <laughs> now you are editing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised this yeah. is going on your channel, yeah, not yeah, mine. So. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be careful what I say. I don't mind getting myself into trouble on my channel, but I'm not going to get somebody else into trouble. We might do an outtakes reel. I reckon in about six months' time, we're going to see a lot of people who've snapped off the hinge for the or the latch and yes. the hinge for the side. Look, in principle, I believe the thing. In principle, that it's a good thing, but you got to remember. A whole bunch of those things that it does could already be built into the GoPro. Yes. Without the need for the media mod. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They could have they could have done away with the, the, the rubbish microphone that's not a shotgun microphone. Totally. And just left the, the forward facing one and just give us a jack. Totally. What they could have done was just bypass that microphone, kept it down to the things that it is good at, which it is. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean we can sit there and take the Mickey out of it all day long. But lose that mic and let's just ignore some of the the unique design characteristics of it, should we say fundamentally it does two things really well it allows you to connect an external microphone which we're using today yeah we're using the the road the fantastic road microphone. exactly so we're getting awesome audio and also you, you've got the the cold shoes yeah yeah, yeah that, that's a good feature which they could have built on the actual camera. So where are we now? Uh, Albert Dock? Albert Dock. Albert yeah. Dock, the famous Albert Dock. So let's just summarise at the end of this vlog on the GoPro Hero Media Module. I mean, I am going to be using it because it's got the mic jack at the back. Big fan of that. Uh, is there anything positive that you can say no, about No, none whatsoever, about Robert. Robert. <laughs> no, honestly, the top thing for me about the system undoubtedly uh, plug an external mics in yeah the, the, the neatness of it not having to put yourself into like a your, your hero is into a separate case with a separate a dongle and all that stuff that bit is awesome with the cold shoes but i have to say that's probably the only thing that i can think of yeah just the, the having a mic jack now yeah that's that's about it yeah 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 it's true that because the aluminium frames gave us the cold shoes that we needed really he there's did, no, yeah. no, no big difference there yeah but also with the aluminium frames and stuff, you did have that issue of you had to weirdly connect the dongle and stuff yeah. to the audio. So obviously yeah. the, the media mods got us past that bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a different shaped yeah. mic adapter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a more expensive different shaped mic adapter. <laughs> yeah. What made you buy two? Because I'm absolutely stupid by the looks of it. <laughs> I know genuinely I bought two because... You knew you were going to jump on one of them. Totally, well, yeah, absolutely. I knew one of them was going to frustrate me and I'd smash it up. No, no, seriously, the reason for two, and you know this yourself, having the, the earlier heroes, them, um, the, 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 the audio adapters used to go out of stock for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, so my thinking was, well, if it did damage the mod, legitimately, not because it was frustrating me and I jumped all over it, but if I was to have damaged the mod, I definitely would have wanted another one. And if GoPro ever went through that thing where they were out of stock, I'd have been like mad trying to get all the one, which funny enough, they're out of stock of. Yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. GoPro over the years have managed to market themselves well, market themselves amazingly well. Yeah. So that's put them into the position where they can lit they can literally release a tad and it'll yeah. sell. They have no competition. Not really. Is a problem. Yeah. I mean, people go on about DJI and stuff and Insta. Not really. No. Um, 
the, look, the thing is, the action's a decent camera. We all know that, but that's yeah. got issues. You can't prop a vlog with it because it's minimum focus distance isn't any good. Yeah. Um, and then GoPro Hero 8, there's one thing with that stabilization. Yeah, they got us there. Yeah. Yeah, that's I can't be doing without it now. I can't keep my hand steady. No. I mean, my arm's getting tired now, but this is ultra stable. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just know it is. I think what'll be interesting is to see what camera conspiracies makes of it when <laughs> yeah. <it's out>. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is if it ends up being the perfect yeah. camera, he'll have nothing else to say from there yeah. on. So I think he'll give it a good tanking anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see the board meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this board being <meeting> sketched. <laughs> so the media module itself. Uh, who would you say that is for? Who's gonna? Who would you advise to buy that? I mean, there's, there's a lot of people uh, that will have the GoPro Hero 8 just as the camera alone, forward-facing microphone. It's the, the exact same as the one in the corner of the media yeah. module. So that's not a game changer for them, is no. it? I would say that the people who need to buy the uh, the media mod, and this is like straight up honest, is anyone who's serious about using an external microphone and also the convenience to mount the mic as well. It yes. definitely will give you the smallest size or smallest footprint for that type of setup with an external yes. mic and being able to mount it direct to the frame. Okay, so I'm going to uh, start rounding up this vlog here today. It's been a fantastic day. David's taken me around the wonderful Liverpool and uh, we've had a chat and I hope you've enjoyed the chat about the media module and uh, pros and cons of it. I'd just like to say uh, thank you to David uh, for showing me around. It's been fantastic meeting up with you. And definitely uh, have a look at David's channel. I, of course, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. For everything audio and video, this guy really knows his stuff. I upload a vlog every week, so if you haven't already done it, consider subscribing. And until the next one, bye.